I was going to uh, beg RuPaul to feed me. Be like, can we eat now, master? Hi, I'm Sasha Velour. I've got as many onions as I could find on the floor of the closet, and I'm gonna show off my knife skills. First, I'm gonna... <laughs> How often do you chop onions? I chop onions as rarely as possible. I actually detest the experience and I would prefer to not have them in my meal at all. I'm quite bad at it actually. <laughs> I've already peeled these onions in advance, which I have heard is the first step because it requires that you take your gloves off, which you do not get to see. I have been in quarantine for three weeks. My nails do not look great. What part of nightgowns are you most excited for people to see? Nothing feels more alive than nightgowns. I think I'm most excited for people to see that drag is a space for, I should be chopping, for queer artists of all kinds without restrictions on gender or gender expression. And that even though drag is so much about entertaining our queer family, it's also, look at this! It's also about expression and self-expression. That is how we can heal through drag and work through pain and turn it into power and beauty. No restrictions. What's your favorite episode of my my favorite episode is the final one. It focuses on my performance of Nina Simone's Wild as the Wind, which I perform on my Smoke and Mirrors tour. But this time, the camera is right up in my face. Usually people are like feet and feet away, so I could be sweaty and tired. And then the story, getting to show people my childhood home, getting to talk about my family and my father and my young adulthood, it just felt very vulnerable, and even though that's not always what my drag is about, sometimes it's about the fantasy, it has to be a part of it too. I'm just gonna... I usually tell people that my first drag performance was to Marina and the Diamonds, Prima Donna Girl. Prima Donna Girl. Actually, that was my second performance on my first night of performing. My very first performance on that same night was actually to Julie London, I know, nice contemporary music. Julie London singing, Why Don't You Do Right? Why don't you do right? And I did it as a strip tease and ended up in just like a bra and panties crawling on the ground begging for money. I think it was winning choice. <laughs> when did you first realize you were famous, Sasha? I'm famous? Yeah. <laughs> I realized that something was changing because Every time I would leave my house, people would recognize me completely out of drag. I thought, I'll just change my glasses and wear a hat and no one will know it was me, but people are watching their RuPaul's Drag Race very carefully and they started recognizing me and yeah, it's, it's been a little different ever since. The weirdest thing on my Fulbright was there was a, an international library where they would allow foreign scholars to give lectures on whatever and I, Ask them if I could give a lecture on queer theory. So in the middle of Moscow in 2009, I gave a breakdown of all of the American queer theorists and I used the Fulbright idea of spreading the idea of mutual understanding to indicate that America is a place that is proud of our queer theory and proud of our queer artists and <laughs> intellectuals. That is the message I was sharing on behalf of our country internationally. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Russian word is Goluboy, which means sky blue, but it is also slang for a gay man. <laughs> the parallel Rosavaya, pink, I've heard does mean lesbian, um, which is perfect. If you would do Snatch Game again, who would you choose? Thank you so much for having me, Paul, on your drag race. <laughs> I would have loved to do Gollum for Snatch Game. I had my loincloth prepared. I was going to uh, beg RuPaul to feed me uh, if I got the answer right. <laughs> Be like, can we eat now, master? So I still think there's hope for that one. <laughs> I am more of a stoner than a drunk. So my go-to stoner food is uh, cookies and milk, like a child. The worst job I've ever had is the front desk attendant at Crunch Gym with all the uh, young Broadway hopefuls. The most overrated makeup trend is um, using too many different colors in your single eye makeup. 
And paradoxically, also uh, the nude lip. <laughs> Too much color or not enough. The last person I called was my father and we talked about how capitalism was to blame for most of the struggles that we're having in the world right now. Well, the, my, my favorite food I've ever seen used in a drag routine is actually an onion. I saw Pearl Harbor perform Macy Gray's cover of Creep. She does it like, a, it starts with a voiceover from Chopped and uh, she takes out an onion and on the, you're just like an angel, your skin makes me cry. She takes a big bite of that raw onion and lip syncs the rest of the song as it just like topples out of her mouth. And there's a, a roasted chicken involved later on. <laughs> If I could live in any decade or time, well, I'm very drawn to the artists of the 20s and 30s and of the 80s and 90s, but it wasn't a good time for quality of life for queer people or for Jewish people. So I think um, I'm quite content where we are. Maybe the future holds something appealing. <laughs> Definitely the future. I do not know how many group chats I'm in, but my favorite is the nightgowns group chat with the cast which is mainly Miss Malice and Untitled Queen sending like essay length daily affirmations to the rest of the cast and all of us just being like speechless and amazed at their capacity for language and kindness. It is a love all the time thread. All drag performers need such a thing. <laughs> well, Vanya's doing good, but we haven't let him sniff other dogs in a little bit and he's very, very sad. When we pass them on the street, he cries. In terms of drag, we, I have put Vanya into drag before, and it, it looks fantastic, but he really hates clothes of any kind. So if you hold anything that looks like doggy clothes, he'll immediately like start wagging his tail and run around the house and make you chase him. <laughs> so similar to me getting into drag. The craziest rumor I ever heard about myself is actually a fake tweet of mine that has continues to come around the internet. It's like a BDSM tweet that's supposedly written in 2007 from like a Wii or something. <laughs> and uh, I definitely was not that cool in 2007, but um, damn, maybe I shouldn't have said it was fake. Let the legacy live on. <laughs> Three things in my fridge. We usually have vodka in the freezer. It's where Russians know to keep it. Really expensive, like homemade dog food and uh, peanut butter. Do not eat those at the same time. That is actually the last question. How many onions did you get through, Sash? I think I got through, how many did we have? I think I got through four then. <laughs> That's not very effective. <laughs> not getting a job in a restaurant. <laughs>